see me, hello! My name is Voodoo Val. We are going to create a swirl of motion blurred sand. I'm going to use the pen tool to kind of spice this up a little bit. Sometimes the nature of the pen tool can be a little difficult for folks to get the hang of. I'm gonna do regular pen tool. What I was running into was this problem where I would start to create round shapes. I started doing like this portion where it was hard for me to kind of line up my curving and it works a little bit but once I start really trying to create it doesn't really like I have like these strange breaks like how this point comes down here. I got the hang of it a little bit but it was a little meh. Using the curvature pen tool just right click here you can kind of select from these other pen tool features here. The curvature pen tool creates these really nice curving pieces for you and I'm not actually bending it in any way and it just really smoothens that curve from point to point as you need. And we're going to use that to add a little bit of spice to our glass here. I'm just going to bring this around here, do like a straight line there, come around and start to curve just to add a top portion of sand. Right click that and create a clipping mask out of it. As you can see here it just kind of clips that right there. If you get points with your curvature pen tool or I guess pointier sections after you edit it, it's not the same as placing it down and starting with these issues that you then have to smooth out. Remove some of these points if I wanted to move some of these down because I would like to make this a little bit smooth. I think I'll free transform and just kind of make that just bring it down and then bump it up. I'm going to select a darker color, maybe this one. In between the hourglass and that, what I'm gonna do, just going to start to create um, shape that the sand is pouring out. And I think that will kind of give us a nice shape here. And then I will kind of do what I did before and edit it as I go along. I think that looks good. I will kind of bend those outward. I'll bend this one in. We'll bring that up. We can bring this down just to kind of start building this pouring sort of feel. Actually doesn't look too bad. I might not mess with it too much just because it, it works for me. I will go ahead and I want to make sure that that is a darker color. Make sure that is between those shapes like so. Maybe bring that in just a little bit. You can see that we're starting to get like this nice interesting shape here. Just to top it off, I will rasterize these layers. And since they are clipping masks already, I try to say this as often as I can whenever I'm using clipping masks. If you would like to clip something to a layer but it's already a clipping mask, you could just use the transparency. Adios everyone. Mm -hmm.